What's up guys, I'm Ivan Calderon and today we're making a beat. All right, so for this beat, I'm using a sample from the Inglorious Sample Chop Kit from the Homie Playhouse. Now, unfortunately, this was only a limited time run kit, but I will be linking them down below because he puts out some great content. So go follow him and be on the lookout for the next kit. Now, this is what the sample sounds like originally. Now, this beat is going to be a little different for me because I usually start from the hook, then I take things apart to make the rest of the beat. However, for this one, I kind of wanted to be like a four to the floor dance pop with some trap integration. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to build it in parts and then put it back together. So let's see what we can do. So for the sake of saving time, I've went ahead and I chopped the sample up. I took the original one here and I brought it down a couple semitones and this is what we got. And then what I did was I took that sample, I chopped it up into smaller bits, and I added some reverb just to kind of fill in the gaps, and this is the outcome. I've also pre-selected some drums, so these are right here. All right, let's get to building. I went ahead and started to arrange the beat just to kind of get an idea of what's going on. I did start out with an intro that was just a sample chop that I showed you guys in the beginning. And then the verse comes in with a kick, then a clap comes in and it ends like this. Now at this point is where I want to kind of drop the whole trap breakdown. So let's do that now. All right, so that breakdown piece is pretty much done. I'm gonna leave the 808s and like bass lines for the end, but for now, check it out. I did add some drums. I also added a crash and a riser just to kind of add a smooth transition, but the whole thing sounds like this. All right, so onto the hook. So far, the beat has been building up. We've had an intro with the sample, then we had a kick, then a clap, and then the breakdown. Well, for the hook, I wanted to come back down, kind of smooth, relaxed, but four to the floor, kind of pop dance, very synthy and spacey. So let's see what we can do. So the hook is about halfway done. I added a piano, which is kind of more like a Rhodes, and then a synth underneath just to kind of provide like an underbelly. Now the synth by itself sounds okay, but I kind of wanted to have like that side chain pumping effect with the kick. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that here. Now to do that, you wanna go over to your mixer and select uh, the track that you want to have the effect on. In my case, it would be the synth. I added an EQ just to kind of roll off some top end, but what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and grab a compressor. Now on the compressor, go over to where it says default, select miscellaneous, uh, select pump, Pump, and then go ahead and hit this side chain button here. Now go over to your kick, that would be here for me. I'm gonna go to sense, hit the plus button, go to side chain, go over to side chain, insert compressor, and boom, there you have it. Now together, they should sound like this. Okay, let's finish this hook.
beat is almost done. All we need now is an 808 for that trap breakdown. All right, so we're done. Let's take a listen. So as I mentioned, the beat starts out with the sample chop that had some reverb, then the verse comes in with a kick drum and then a clap, and then we have a trap breakdown, and that sounds like this. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to hear the whole beat, head over to my site. I'm linking down in the description box. And also go ahead and check out Playhouse. This is off of his sample kit, so make sure to give him a follow. But again, thank you so much for your time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it if you see fit. Subscribe if you're not already. But I will see you guys in the next one.